Islam, we say that there is no compulsion in the deen. La ikra'a fi deen, isn't it? There is no compulsion. And the only thing that differentiates us is those who recognize God and before God's eyes, those who pray and revere him. But there is no compulsion. And I think even the Constitution of Kenya talks about that, that each and every religion is free to practice because there is no compulsion. It is consistent with the Quran. It is sad that when my brother, the Honorable C.S., tried to talk about that, that he was purposely misquoted by the media. It's very sad that it, it was attempted to show that Muslims are not tolerant. Alhamdulillah, the Quran itself compels us to be tolerant and expects us to be tolerant. And it goes as far as saying that it doesn't, that this religion does not attempt to put a burden on people. Isn't it? Now you call Allah nafsan. Am I right, Sheikh? It does not put a burden on anybody. But I think it is important, and I'm sorry I'm digressing. But I think it's very important for us to be able to clarify this. That what the CS was simply saying is that we should be allowed to practice our religion freely as envisaged in the Constitution. That if we want to wear the hijab, then we wear the hijab. And we should not be told where to wear it and where not to wear it. Whether it is in the school, whether it is in the mall, whether it is in, in, on, 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 on the road, our girls, our women, if they so choose, should be able to wear without being com compelled not to wear, isn't it? Right. <clears throat> Otherwise, what difference will there be between the Taliban and those who are saying we cannot wear our hijab to go to school. Is there going to be any different? So what we're saying, please, do not misquote, do not put words, do not twist words. Allow us all to practice our religion freely so that we can, we can also be able to express some of our feelings. And we can also be able to express our religion freely. That is all that the CS was saying. And I listened to his speech very carefully, both in Somali and in English. And nowhere did he say that he was going to compel anybody. And therefore, he doesn't need to make any apologies. Because what he said was his constitutional right. I think um, this occasion goes to show that we as Kenyan Muslims, first of all, are peaceful, that we have exercised our religion in an environment that is conducive, that we have been open to the media to come and see what we are doing. There is, there is no extremism here. There is no incitement. All we are doing is trying to memorize our religion, which in itself is anchored on peace, in itself is anchored on tolerance. And that's what uh, hopefully we are able to show here.